Hey there everybody, Nathan Nelson here. Welcome back to the channel. Now today I'm gonna take you behind the scenes. I'm gonna show you how I created images that look exactly like this. And with that being said, let's just get into it. All right, so here we are in the studio and I'm running a three light setup. Now the main light is an 8600 Pro with a 47 inch Octabox and a Stro Pro parabolic arm attached. Now for those of you who are unfamiliar with this modifier, I made an entire video a while back just talking about why I love this modifier so much and the quality of light that it creates. So I will link that at the end of this video for those of you who are interested in checking out more about this modifier and what it does. Now my background lights are also both 8600 Pros and they have medium pro photo deep umbrellas attached. Now for the positioning of the lighting, my main light is actually pointed directly at the model. And I know for those of you who have been to this channel before, you hear me talking about feathering light all of the time. In this instance, I'm actually pointing the modifier directly at the model. And that's because with this type of modifier, it actually focuses the light. So you get this really beautiful quality of light dead center in the modifier. So this one, it's, it's pointed directly at her and it's just the light that it creates is beautiful. Now I've got the model positioned a little bit ahead of the background lights and that's so that that light isn't falling and hitting onto my model. I want those background lights just to light the background and give me a little bit of that separation. I don't want the light to hit onto the model and create little bits of you know hard rim light that I don't feel enhance this image. So I've got her moved up a little bit and I've got the umbrellas turned in so none of that light is actually pouring on and hitting onto the model. It's hitting directly onto the backdrop. Now for the settings, I have my main light metered to f8 and 1 200th of a second at ISO 100. Now this means that my camera also needs to be set to f8 at 1 200th of a second at ISO 100 to gain proper exposure. Now the two background lights are metered to overexpose the backdrop by about one stop and that's what's giving me that brighter white backdrop versus it falling to a dark grey. Now I have these lights metered to f11 at 1 200th of a second at ISO 100, so they're one stop over what my actual base exposure is. And that's what's allowing that backdrop to turn into a white versus a gray is we're actually overexposing a little bit just to kind of give me that separation, make the image feel a little bit more light and airy. And so now when we take all of these things and we tie them all together, this is what it looks like. And so there we go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that behind the scenes. If you're interested in more like this, make sure you tune in because next week I'm gonna show you how I created images that look exactly like this. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate you and I'll talk to you again very, very soon. Cheers.